Hi, James Patterson here, Head of Seabury Jealous Commercial Leasing Team in Australia and New Zealand. Our team consists of 60 operators in Australia, headed up in Brisbane by David Prosser, Peter Flint in New South Wales, Helen Davies and Dwayne Dawson in the ACT, Hamish Sutherland in Victoria, Andrew Barr in South Australia and Andrew Denny in Western Australia. In these four minutes to you, our clients, we plan to bring our thoughts and insights into the leasing markets around Australia and New Zealand. In each podcast, we'll specifically focus on a location and examine key aspects of that particular market. First up for 2010 will be the New South Wales market. Our business in New South Wales is headed up by Peter Flint, and today he'll be, he'll be meeting with Janine Cranston, who's the director in charge of our Sydney CBD leasing team, which is the largest in the country. I really do hope you enjoy today's discussion. Janine, let me start by asking you how you would characterise the leasing market of 2009. Well, Pete, it wasn't a very nice place to be in 2009. The first half was characterised by tenants' paralysis and indecision and simply nothing got done. The second six months saw both an increase in inquiry and a greater ability to do deals. Um, they had to be cost neutral or cost positive to get management approval, but nevertheless they were being done. Okay, let's move on to 2010, starting with the most reactive part of any marketplace, which is subleasing. The CBRE sublease barometer almost went off the dial in 2009 and got a lot of press because of that. How would you characterise uh, 2010? Pete, the year's begun on the whole more optimistically. We've seen various demonstrations of greater confidence from tenants. We've seen the move from serviced offices. We've seen a return to tolerance to pay premium rents and we've seen an increase in the level of inquiry. In terms of sublease, between December 2009 and January 2010, we saw a 25% reduction in the total amount of sublease stock. And we're now actually just below the long term, the 20 year average of sublease space available in the market. CBRE research say that's about 1.2% and we're about 5,000 square metres under that. How are you seeing that? Well Pete, we're seeing more confidence uh, demonstrated in inquiry of uh, greater volume and uh, bigger tenants are also coming back to the market. We are seeing that they're very cautious in their approach and also that the transaction time as a result of that takes longer than anybody anticipates. But we have seen tenants go very much from a survival mode of 2009 to a more strategic approach in 2010. That may lead into space banking in the future, but we're certainly not there yet. Janine, what about the deal trends for 2010? How are you and the team viewing that? Pete, the deals being done are still at 2009 levels and rents have hung on. We've not seen any growth. Incentive levels have remained in that red hot zone between about 28 and 32%. If you do a deal at anything less, uh, you're quite lucky, strategic, and if you do anything, a deal at anything more than that 32%, it's probably due to a particular issue you need to solve. Tenants are now tolerant to premium rates again. The other thing we're seeing is that in the third quarter of 2009, well over 75% of the deals that we had on the go as a team were in petition stock. A recent analysis of our deals is more like 40% of our deals in petition stock. So tenants are showing more confidence in fitting out their own premises. So those costs are back and acceptable to a balance sheet once again. That's very interesting. In the Sydney metro market where I operate, that's definitely at the upper end of the scale. Yes, the market remains tough, Pete, and I think it will continue to bump along the bottom in 2010. The difference between last year and this year is that their deals are being traded. Clients' demonstration of that is due to their keenness to get space locked away, uh, with vacancy having increased. So are you saying we're seeing the market turn in favour of the landlord now? Not quite, Pete, but there are early signs for what may happen in the future and what points to that most clearly is the vacancy level in the city at the current time. Well, across the metro market, we've certainly come to the end of the current supply cycle. Trains have disappeared from North Sydney uh, and Macquarie Park and it's probably at least another 18 months until we see any supply come through. Are you expecting any slowdown in government lease activity this year in the CBD? Pete, typically before any election we get a three to six month slowdown in government inquiry. What's probably more of a barometer of Sydney's health is the finance industry and we are seeing a return to uh, optimism in finance uh, through a take up of space such as Westpac recently taking or committing to up to about 10,000 square metres of space and others, numerous others, having an appetite to take on additional space in the future. Janine, what advice would you give to our clients as we move into the uh, second quarter of 2010? 
It's making the most of every inquiry, making every inquiry count. Tenants see the relationship they begin as a barometer for their commitment over you know, 10 years. So one needs to respond promptly, professionally, and in a manner that fosters a positive relationship moving forward. In addition to these recommendations, Pete, I think it's really important our clients ensure that the manner in which they've concluded the commercial terms of a deal are continued in the way they approach legal documentation. Make sure that response times are short and a lease should be got out within one working week and that the points of discussion are kept commercial and are kept uh, with a focus on doing a deal. So it looks like the message here is one of cautious optimism. Yes, Pete, I'd agree with that. Thanks for joining us and all the very best for 2010. I trust you enjoyed today's presentation from Peter and Janine. Next month we travel to Queensland where we'll meet David Prosser, our, our Director in Charge of Leasing. Thanks and we'll see you next month in Queensland.